really want to come after Trump. Um, and they think Biden is, got, is the guy to do it. The last wild card, Elizabeth Warren, assessing her path forward after a dismal Super Tuesday, finishing third in her home state of Massachusetts. Elizabeth Warren, if she does drop out and endorse Bernie Sanders, this race will tighten even more. Two candidates now squaring off to slug out the nomination state by state in the weeks ahead. Alice Barr, NBC News, Washington. And joining me today to talk about the turnout for California Super Tuesday here in the Central Valley, KC24 anchor and host of Sunday Morning Matters, Alex Ambalikian. Welcome, Alex. On Desiree, it's like post Super Tuesday. Seriously, it really slash is. Slash Wednesday. So there you go. <laughs> Super Wednesday, we could call it. There right? you go. <laughs> Alex, on, did the results surprise you at all? No, I don't think so. I think a lot of people, especially in California, this is Bernie Sanders' country uh, when you're talking about uh, the majority of California, although Biden came on strong. Even Mike Bloomberg had a really good showing. He paid for a lot of uh, ads here in the yeah. state of California. Uh, but when you look at it, it's going to be interesting how a lot of the votes that are unaccounted for come in to see how Biden comes even closer. NBC News did call this race within the first four minutes after the poll. Wow. Closed at 8:04 mm -hmm. our time, and so uh, we'll see how that translates. You might remember back to the 2016 presidential yeah. election, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton had a huge lead over Bernie Sanders at that time. That is but true. then, when the final votes did come in, mm -hmm. he narrowed a double-digit margin to a single-digit margin. So we'll see how it turns that is out. True. Do you think the endorsement from some of the candidates that left the race had anything to do with the results? I think so. I, I think it played a huge part. I mean, you look at Minnesota, for example. That is Amy Klobuchar's home state, and she didn't win Minnesota. Um, you might have seen a lot of people wait. A lot of people did, uh, did do some early voting, but a lot of people waited. They like to have the event on a Super Tuesday. Again, it was the first time California participated in a Super Tuesday, moving it up from June to March. So I think people wanted to be relevant. Votes wanted to be relevant in here in California, but you can start to see the coalition going towards Joe Biden. Mike Bloomberg yeah. uh, refusing to step out last night, even having his campaign manager, Mike yeah. Sheiky, say uh, he's going to stay in the race. But obviously, they reassessed things earlier this morning. They decided that Joe Biden was the path to victory. Uh, so Bernie Sanders now, I think, has yeah. a huge. Uh, mountain to climb against what is basically now the Democratic Party. Uh, they're saying Bernie Sa This to me sounds like, and again, I'm pontificating here a little yeah. bit, but I think people are saying this is not Bernie Sanders, uh, the Democratic Party. This is Bernie Sanders, the Progressive Party, versus Joe Biden, the Democratic Party, because there's a lot of support going yeah. towards Joe Biden. And that is true, because if you see the results on, okay, California, of course, is Sanders right now, he's up, yeah. but if you see the other states, is Biden. It really is. He, yeah, Biden had a good showing. Yeah. Um, I mean, Bernie Sanders had a great showing. Mm -hmm. Again, this is almost a third of the delegate votes. They have to mm -hmm. get uh, 1,991 yeah. delegates to win the nomination. Mm -hmm. But again, this is going to be close. Bernie Sanders has a huge following. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a lot of the youth energized. That is true. Uh, so we're going to see how it plays out as we get closer. Remember, New York is not until April 28th. Mm -hmm. New York is another big step in all of this. And so uh, we're waiting to see what happens there. Uh, obviously, Florida as well. Florida yeah, well, and New we'll York are the two biggies, if yeah, you will. That's for sure. Yeah. And of course, it seems like we have a new mayor as well. Well, not yet. Well, not yet, we, we, yes. Not yet. We can't say that officially. <laughs> yeah. uh, the numbers show right now, and again, these are mm -hmm. the 100% precincts that were counted just last night. Yeah, well, There's about anywhere between 60 to 80,000 unaccounted for votes, whether that be uh, through the mail or uh, provisional ballots. But yeah, Jerry Dyer, the former police chief, uh, has a 54%. Again, you only need that 50.1 yeah. to get over the threshold to become the official mayor here. But Andrew Jan's not conceding one bit. He still believes that this is going to be a lot closer when all the votes are counted in. Uh, one thing that I noticed that only 23% came out to vote yesterday in the city of mm -hmm. Fresno. Only 23 
percent. Mm -hmm. That's not very high on a presidential primary. It really isn't. Do you no. think that maybe people also like mailed in their ballots? I, I think so. I yeah. think so. But again, for an event for Super Tuesday, true. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little surprised yeah. by those numbers. Yeah. Do you think that you know, like we said, it was the first time California taking part of you know Super Tuesday and being part of the whole thing? Do you think maybe that's why people didn't go out? Maybe you know, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, you know, even though we try to get the word out as much as possible, hey, go out and early yeah. vote early, March third. That's our new primary date. Yeah. Um, you know, people still, um, you know, it's not something that's in their minds. It's not embedded in their minds. And oh, I forgot or. Forgot to send in my ballot or something like that. Let's hope that didn't happen. Yeah. Voting is a very powerful thing. It really is. Um, so always take advantage sure. of that. And then we need to start talking about the congressional race as well. Yes. Esmeralda, let's start with Esmeralda and Costa. Yeah, Esmeralda yeah. Soria, obviously, this is her first go around as Fresno City Council member here. And I think she did very good, actually, um, when you're talking about Fresno County. But again, in this district, you have Madeira. County and you have Merced County in this mm -hmm. district. And the big difference here, and you see Kevin Cookingham with a lead even over Jim Costa. The reason why is because in Merced County, mm -hmm. he had 11,000 votes, wow. a little north of 11,000 votes. Mm -hmm. That was 8,000 more than Esmeralda Soria. So in Merced County, where Kevin Cookingham thought, you know what, I'm going to go to Merced County, mm -hmm. talk about education, you see Merced. This is where I'm going to try to win this election, at least the primary, because again, the top two vote getters will go to the runoff yeah. in November. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're looking at Kevin Cookingham uh, really showing strong in Merced County. That's why those numbers show what they do. No, that's for sure. And of course, before we leave, I do want to talk about the bonds. I think that was a little surprising for a lot of people because, you know, some of them didn't pass. Yeah, the school a, bonds. A, a lot of them. Yeah. And, you know, they needed 55% of the vote. Uh, which is, you know, basically a two-thirds majority here. Yeah. Um, and uh, first of all, Prop 13, the state bond, the only one on the ballot, uh, that that was not going to pass. I, I felt like a lot of people were saying, "Hey, we have our local bonds. That's what we need to take care of first. Mm -hmm. uh, the Fresno, uh, uh, there's Prop 13 right there. No, by 56 percent. Again, yeah. it had to be 55 percent. Yes. So this is. Uh, in the other direction. People do not want to be taxed again. That's basically w what they're saying. And a lot of people yeah. thought, you know, Prop 13, well, w w there was Prop 6 to repeal mm -hmm. the gas tax. Mm -hmm. And people decided, no, we want to keep the gas tax. We want to see our roads fixed. Well, I think a lot of people are saying, are, are, where's the money? Are roads being fixed? So I think that they didn't want to be taxed here again mm -hmm. as well. But a lot of the bonds, yeah, it's an extra tax. People say our paychecks are already slimmed down as much as possible. I don't want to slim it down anymore. That's true. Alexon, thank you so much you for joining it. us. We you really bet. appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We will have more reaction on this week's Sunday Morning Matters airing at 8 a.m. on